Next guest is making her uh, first appearance on The Tonight Show. She's appeared in many, many motion pictures. And uh, a reporter once described her as a lady who makes Zsa Zsa and Pamela Mason sound like blushing flowers of reticence. <laughs> Would you welcome, please, Benny Barnes. <laughs> to see you. Thank you. Always I wanted to meet you. That is true. Everybody always assumes because you work in Hollywood or you're an entertainer, all entertain you, you know everybody else. It's not true. Is there anybody out here in the years you've been in Hollywood that you've never met, that you've wanted to meet? No, you know? I don't think so, no. They wanted to meet me, they met me. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, we were talking about when Sandy went to New York as a young lady. You've been, you've been in Hollywood a number of years. Um, I never met Sandy. You never met Sandy either? And I think she's marvelous. Yes, she is. She's a lovely young lady. Very courageous. Thank you. Very courageous, because I know what you went through. Yes. And Mr. Martin here was slightly warped. <laughs> uh, is he warped? He's a little, little, I like little strange. Well, that's very nice. It gives you a sort of an in intellectual thing. <laughs> well, how'd you get the name Benny? That's a very unusual name. Benny? Yeah. Well, I wasn't doing any good at the time, <laughs> may I say. And uh, I went to an astrologer, and I was doing a cowboy act. <laughs> yes, I was. A cowboy. With ropes and things, which I stole from somebody who was doing um, a Will Rogers act. Sure, sure. And uh, I, I thought this was great. They called me Texas Bill Barnes, which wasn't very pleasant, because I thought I was rather sexy. <laughs> and uh, I guess I wasn't. And I had a little buck teeth at the time, which I had straightened since. And I stole this whole act, and I, the, the astrologer said, you should change the name. My, Barnes is my real name. Right. So they said, should be six and six. So I was walking along London around Piccadilly Circus, and I saw a girl, a girl, a woman, uh, called Binnie Hale, who was terribly, terribly well, and they loved her, you know. So I said, that sounds pretty good. So I stole the name. That's B I N N I E, Billy Barnes, a six and six. And I was doing this act, and, and uh, all of a sudden, the next day I got a contract. And I thought it was a great. I've never been to an astrologer since or after, and this was it. That's well, how I got the name. Astrology has had kind of a, a rekindling in the last few years all over the country. People, a lot of people great seem to be. Rekindling. I'd never been back to it, but I guess it was all right for me. Yeah. Yes. What sign are you? People ask that's Aries. the current sign. I'm an Aries, which is the bull. Oh, I'm very bull. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Somebody told me you're one of 16 children. Is yes, right? I am. I'm the last of 16 children. I'm the head of the family. Would you say the mafia? Good Off heavens. Hand? <laughs> yes, I take care of everybody that dies in my family. That means that I supply them with suits if they're dead. <laughs> you see? <laughs> You do, really? Yes, I do, indeed. My husband will verify this. You see, half of us are Jewish and half of us are Catholic. You see, and the Catholics sat one side and Jews the other. We weren't, allowed, we weren't allowed to talk about religion at any time of our lives. But when anybody died, they called me up and said, Joe's dead. And I said, oh, fine. <laughs> I immediately went to the closet and found one of Mike's suits. Mike is my husband. Mike Frankovitz, the producer. He's my husband. Well, we were in Italy at the time that, I don't know, Arthur died, probably. And Mike, <laughs> <laughs> Mike had, had ordered a lot of suits from a very fine man called Carinci or Granci or whatever his name is. And they were brand new. And it was the time that they had those sort of silky suits. Yeah. You remember? They were oh, lovely. Very bright, kind of shiny. And I'm rather short-sighted, as you see. I've got glasses. And I'm rather short-sighted. And I looked in the clo closet, and I saw a beautiful blue suit that looked rather worn, I thought. But Mike had never had it on, and I didn't know this. And uh, so I said, that'll do nice for Arthur. <laughs> and Mike had been on a trip, and Mike came in, and I, as he came into the airport, I said, we've got to go and see Arthur. He's, he's dead. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh. And in my family in England, they laid him up. And you 
paid homage to them for a week, and you said, Dear Arthur, and everybody talked to Dear Arthur. It was quite a nice family thing. So I said to Mike, we've got to see him. So as we went by the beer, <laughs> he's sitting up, you know, we'd say hello, sitting Arthur. Up? Oh, yeah, they sit him up. I Rather didn't know Irish. That. I didn't oh, yes, know that. very Irish candles and stuff. <laughs> Catholics, are Irish, Jewish. I didn't care. It didn't make any difference. And Mike is at the end of a long line. He's never seen Arthur. He doesn't know half of my family anyway. <laughs> and um, as, he go as we're getting near, he says he's got my suit on. <laughs> and he said, um, take it off of him. <laughs> I said, dear, Arthur's a stiff. You can't take it off. <laughs> he said, it's a brand new suit I've never had on. And I didn't know. I thought it was shiny. That and was I didn't style. see, and I thought it was an old suit, but it wasn't at all. But that was Arthur. And he, yeah, he wore the suit, and I guess he's still in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Uh, <laughs> that takes care of Arthur. Uh, you, you've worked with, uh, you have to do a commercial here. I'm getting a little signal here. Not, not too little a signal either. But you <laughs> take a word from one of We're talking with uh, Benny Barnes. You just mentioned a lovely young lady that's had a lot of publicity lately. You play her mother in 40 Carats, Liv, Liv Oman. Liv Oman, yes. Uh -huh. I played her mother, yes. How yeah. do you like that? I'm a grandmother. Yeah. Yes. Does that bother you? It bothers a lot of uh, ladies, you know, to say, oh, I'm playing a grandmother Ask in a the picture audience. or so forth. You know, I don't know. It doesn't bother me because uh, I'm an old broad. And I've been around for an awful long time, you know. Um, I think a lot of women like it that I'm this age. Now, Liv is playing a 40-year-old woman in 40 carats, and she's right. not 40 by any means. She's up for an Academy Award. Um, uh, Gene Kelly's in the picture. Um, a new, uh, and Edward Albert, young Edward Albert, who's divine in the picture. Right. Edward uh, and, and Milton Casellas, who directed the picture. He directed Butterflies Are Free right. also. And uh, Lenny Gersh, who wrote the picture. Now, people say to me, do you mind playing a grandmother? I say, no. Does anybody want to know how old I am? Yes. Do but you, you, but do they you say it's really? not polite to ask? I don't me. mind telling you. But I will tell you, I'm 59. Really? You oh. know. Okay. What do we know? <laughs> well, it's true. 59 isn't old. It? I don't think so, no, because I, think so. I do a discotheque dance with Gene Kelly that's absolutely fabulous. Without him, of course, I couldn't do it. He leads me all the way, which is great. Yeah. He's 20 years late. I wish I'd got him 20 years ago. You know, this would have been absolutely mm. marvelous. But he's absolutely divine. He's divine in the picture. And I think we've got a good picture. Well, that's great. I hope it's a big success. I think it will be. You've been described, as, and you are, from what I hear, quite, quite outspoken. Have you ever... Yes, I'm people outspoken. ask you for an opinion, you tell them the truth in this town? Because yes. uh, that can be dangerous to a lot, of, a lot of careers. People say, what do you think? Oh, and dangerous they play the at game. my age. Nothing is dangerous. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Have you said, ever said things to people that you wish you hadn't said? No, never. If it, it was always the truth if I said it, they may not have liked it. A lot of people don't like what I say. But I don't really give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I must say I'm old enough not to care. I think that starts to... Let's face that, too. You know, parents tell children to be popular, you know, it's to be well-liked. Who and, gives and a damn whether you're popular or not? I like the young kids. I think they're great. Hey, you're a good guest. I hope you'll come back and do this again, because you've got all... Incredible amount of stories Anytime and things you can talk I can about. Talk and talk. Good night.